Meet Clyde Foster, a computer engineer who broke barriers at NASA and became one of the first black mayors in the old segregated Jim Crow South. Clyde Foster was one of 13 children. He grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, where he says there were two sets of everything, one for colored and one for the white. <laughs> Signs was posted on water fountain, restrooms. Police harassment was a way of life. Whenever they would see a group of black kids assembled together, there was always some reason to go after them. Clyde had a plan to create a new life for himself. I determined at a very early age that I wanted to further my education. Clyde went to college to become a teacher. And that was the, one of the things that really made my father happy. He was the most happy person in the world. He had a son, <laughs> first graduate son of college, but was going to become a teacher. Soon after he started teaching, a friend of Clyde's got a job at Marshall Space Flight Center, then known as Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. Clyde joined him and got a job testing rockets. After they were launched, rockets and missiles recorded the information about their performance. My job, I had the position to reduce data that was recorded at the time the missile was fired to measure how much thrust the missile would have as to whether it had enough or didn't have enough to go into orbit. Determining thrust was complicated. A moving rocket was affected by wind. To measure the effects of wind, they would launch a smoke rocket. As the smoke rocket would ascend, the smoke would leave different curves and I would have an opportunity now to measure different wind levels at different altitudes. And sometimes the wind could be such that it would cross at different layers and just break the vehicle into half. Clyde was smart and ambitious. He wanted to move up in the job. NASA offered advanced training, but it was always off the base in a hotel or at the white university where blacks weren't allowed. That meant he couldn't take the classes he needed to advance. You feel like you, you are a piece of dynamite ready to explode. And the only thing it takes was but a little fire. <laughs> Clyde convinced NASA to hold training at the all-black college in Huntsville and established their first computer science program. And to top it off, he became mayor of a small town. And as mayor, he got a grant to build new water systems, build a new town hall, a fire department, gym, and daycare center, and he appointed a black sheriff. Soon, other small black communities around Alabama were electing black mayors. Clyde credits NASA for making this possible. It had to be, because man, I hadn't had that experience early in life to cross open to these areas political, education, business, and all of that was done because of the experience I had with NASA. 